Thank you, ITF, for the award. Uh, the award was given for a research that I conducted uh, both at Oxford University and the Brazilian federal government at the Institute for Applied Economic Research. Uh, and the focus of the project, of the, of the study, is really about the accessibility benefits that you get out of public transport services and transport investments. But most importantly, how we can use accessibility analysis and computational methods that we have today to simulate what will be the future accessibility impacts of transport projects that are still just on the paper. And how important is it that work like this is being recognized in the sector? So, Probably the most important contribution of this study is that we are helping or we are developing a methodology that uh, not only researchers but also transport agencies can use to decide the allocation and prioritization of what transport projects should receive funding first or more funding. Uh, and by receiving this award, I think we get a lot of attention and, and recognition for that the methodology is being recognized not only in academia but also among uh, policymakers and practitioners. And, I think it hopefully will help us get the methodology and the discussion uh, being more adopted, uh, not only in Brazil, but uh, uh, hopefully elsewhere as well. So it begs the question, what next in terms of research for you? So uh, I'm very much still dedicated to the work at the Institute for Applied Economic Research, and we are conducting uh, a very large uh, research project on accessibility in Brazil. We are estimating at a high spatial resolution how many jobs, schools, and hospitals people can reach uh, just by using walking, public transport, and driving, and, and cycling in the largest cities in the country. Uh, that's, that's probably going to be the largest project I will be uh, leading in the next uh, couple of years. And we're already having some support from the, not only the federal government, but also the local governments in the country who are very interested in getting the results. All of our study will be open source, and the results will be made publicly available. And so I'm looking very much forward into uh, getting this uh, data out there.